Um, I was wondering about the framing of, of using West End Blues, which is one of my favorite pieces of music, and I suspect something that you've always loved as well. And, the, and having the dancers going through the city of, of Wuppertal uh, performing to that, uh, that seems very much your invention to, as a kind of linking device. Um, yes. You see, when Pina died so abruptly, and well, not for it canceled the film, but when we eventually realized we had to do the film anyway, I had to invent, of course, lots of things that we would not have done in the film we wanted to do together. The film I would have wanted to do with Pina, we, I would have accompanied Pina a lot, saw her working a lot, I would have traveled with her and the company to Korea as well as to South America. And my entire interest for the f and the conception for the film we wanted to do together was her look, a film about this, these amazing eyes that so patiently watched and watched and, and then were able to turn what they saw into these pieces. So when Pina was no longer with us and we, when we started to consider making a film for Pina instead of with Pina, I had to come up with stuff on my own. And I slowly realized that I could only do it with her ensemble, with her dances, and that they could still tell me a lot about Pina's eyes and about Pina's look. And that I only had to ask the dancers, but not verbally, just exactly like Pina did. They would not answering, not be answering with words, but with their own language, with body language. And when we looked at the lines that, con that really concerned the entire ensemble, the ones from Carnation was the most powerful one because it indicated the four seasons, spring and summer and fall and winter. And somehow the entire company, going year after year, so to speak, seemed like a great metaphor for them and for life. And so I decided to use that line for beginning, middle, and end of the film. Do you, do you feel uh, um, uh, that there is something similar in your own working methodology where you've often worked with, uh, say, for example, Robbie Muller and other people that, that there's, uh, when you have a kind of a family of people, of colleagues and friends that you work with, that somehow that, that can create better cinema? And it seems like Pina maybe had the same approach with dance. Oh yes, Pina really worked with her family, as you said. Some of these dancers were with her from 30 years and even longer. And of course there's also always younger ones and, and maybe they suffered even more from her loss because they were looking forward to so much more. And they felt they were betrayed because they had just gotten the first taste of it. And some of the younger ones, like Tsai Chin, the Chinese girl, she was more devastated than anybody else. She, had so much counted on, on working with Pina, and then she just did one piece with her, and that was it. And then, but of course, they were all completely shocked and shell shocked and, and lost because Pina had been the center of their lives. <laughs>